Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cup and I am Penj and welcome to Above the Fold, which as it says here, is a game about building a newspaper in the golden age of print media. And to do that, we are going to have to go back in time a little bit. So come back with me, if you will, to the year 1998, which is 20 years ago, good grief, that's a bit scary, where we're going to become the editor of a small local newspaper. Now 1998 is a time before smartphones and blogs and vlogs and social media and all that kind of stuff. And yes, the internet was around. Not everyone had access to the internet. There might well have been new sites on there, but you know, maybe they weren't quite as good as they are now. So really at that point, print media, so newspapers really, were still kings of the written news at that point. So I quite like the fact the game has taken us back to that kind of stage in history. This is in early access on Steam. It came out today into early access. If you want to go and have a look, there's a link to the Steam store page in the video description below. And I got given a key to this by the developer. So thank you very much indeed, developer. That's very kind of you. Uh, it's in alpha. It's an alpha stage build at the moment, so this is in no way representative of the sort of completed games. There might be changes and bits added, but it's a working game, so it says you know it's functional, we can play it. So I think, let's just get on with it, shall we? Let's have a look. Let's go and build ourselves a newspaper. Now, I've not played this, so I don't really know what to expect. So in we go. So um, this is the newspaper. So the, the public... I can't read that font at all. The public... What What's this? I don't know what that... I genuinely cannot read that font at all. The Neil Advocate? I, oh, this is horrible. The, the Commuter Beacon. Right, I can read that. I can read that as terrible as the font is. It says the Commuter Beacon. So we get a starting cash value, a starting subscribers value, and then a split of our subscribers. So 57% uh, are liberal and 43% are conservative. And the largest demographic of the initial subscribers are seniors. Ah, okay. So we can generate a new newspaper and it generates new values. Okay, right. So I want one that kind of... Oh, I see. So the more cash you have, the less starting subscribers you have. Okay. I think we try and get one that's kind of in the middle somewhere. So, yeah, sort of like that. Like that. The public edition. And that's a nice generic title for a newspaper as well. So, oh, no, however... The split of that is quite extreme. Liberal and conservative. Because I don't know what I'm doing. I'd rather have something kind of very even. Let's see if I can find something a little bit more even. Um, let's keep flicking through. I'm just looking at these numbers here. Um, yeah, there. There. That looks okay. The Goodbury Patriot. Oh, I like the sound of that. Even though that is never a P. That is never a P. What's this? <laughs> What's the spirally flim flam twiddly bits? So yes, the Goodbury. Or is that an N? I read that as good brain issue. It could be good burn because I don't, I don't know. Whatever. The good something Patriot. 27 grand to start with. 2,800 subscribers. And the split is kind of more to a conservative, but there's not that much of a, not that much of a difference. Not like some of the other ones we saw. The largest demographic, 29% of initial subscribers are middle-aged readers. Okay, that's fine. Let's begin the game. Okay, so it's the twenty. It's April the twentieth, nineteen ninety eight. Welcome to your new job as the editor in chief. Oh, that sounds very grand. Of the Goodbury, it was Goodbury Patriot, a tiny local publication headquartered in the town of Goodbury. Well, that would make sense, wouldn't it? The paper was recently purchased by a nameless new owner who started out by firing the previous staff. Okay, brutal. And hiring you to build the paper from the ground up. <laughs> I think you might regret that decision. You'll have a few subscribers left from the old days, but they are nothing compared to where this paper could be. Grow the subscriber base by matching stories to reporters and by hiring reporters that fit your goals. Give them stories to write what they uh, to write. Sorry, that they enjoy and watch them produce best-selling issues. Yeah, don't hold your breath. Take a moment to familiarise yourself with these panels. The one you are reading will contain a summary of your most recently published issue, but the other panels give you a broader picture of the newspaper as a whole. Good luck. Okay, so we've got a few panels and then start a new day. So that's going to move the game on. Now again, I don't really know much about this. I don't know if it's, if it's turn-based, time-based. I really don't know. So subscriber data... Uh, yeah, we've got ourselves 56% conservative, 44% liberal. So it's got the two political spectrums. You've got the, the, the red and the blue. I mean, it's sort of very American kind of themed there. The typical reader is a 46-year-old white-collar male with 1.25 children. <laughs> Where's the other 0.75 of the child? What have you done with them? He has a master's degree diploma and makes above average 
income. Okay, and we've got quite a lot of middle age, a group of adults, some seniors, and then coming down to young adults, teenagers, and 4% of children reading a newspaper. How do you define a, a, a children in this? Uh, teenagers would be sort of 13 or up. So children, so a tw in theory, 12 year olds read the Good Repatriate. Do they really? I don't think I read newspapers when I was 12. I don't think I really cared. Um, finances, we've got 27 grand. Overhead office. So we're going to spend eight and a half on an office. We have some subscriptions already and some classified ads going in. So the balance without adverts. Do adverts count as classified? I don't know. Uh, it's 3,460. So yeah, obviously we've got no one's buying the paper at the minute. There's nothing going on. So we'll have to sort that out. So that's fine for now. Oh, advertisers. Okay. Advertisements running. Zero. Okay, but we've not started yet, so that's kind of to be expected. I imagine there's no ads ending soon either. Nope, nothing ending soon. Recent issues, I guess, is going to say there aren't any. Okay, yep, none of that. Credibility is sort of down the middle because we've not actually printed anything yet. And awards, we've won entirely nothing, but of course not because we've not printed a paper yet. Okay, let's start a new day and see what happens. Um, oh, there's a duck. Oh, that's nice. There's a little duck. Hallucinations reported among children. Offbeat, politically neutral. Is that offbeat? Children hallucinating. <laughs> um, okay, good repatriate. Uh, that's the day. Get 5,000 sub subs, subscribers. <laughs> subs and subscribers. Uh, we've got 2,800 there. No report. Hire more reporters. Okay. I'm pressing the up arrow. Assume that's to hire reporters. Is that to hire reporters? I'm not entirely sure how to hire a reporter right now. Uh, so there's stuff on the map, the stuff on the map, which I guess is news stuff. Right, so that's a news thing. So historic, oh, okay, right. So the news is fluid, the news is changing. So these things are going and they're sort of coming and going as either people lose interest or the event goes away or whatever. Um, okay, how do I hire a reporter? Um, what are these things at the top? Advert. Artistment, art, culture, business, climate, crime, economy, entertainment, fashion, global conflict, presumably health, history, local news, offbeat, politics, science, sports. The lights have all come. Oh, there's a time. Oh, okay. There's a red thing counting down. I possibly, I am pressing the up arrow to hire more reporters. Or do I, do I click something? At, how do I hire? It says reporters hired nor to five. How do I hire any reporters of any kind? The good repatriate drag story here. I've got 23 seconds. Can I write something myself? Can I write something really quickly? <laughs> the, pa <laughs> the paper on April the 21st, 1998 is very limited. The Good Repatriate is a minimalist edition right now. Um, um, a drag story. I imagine the stories appear just here, I'm going to assume. Right, I've got, I'm going to print the paper. You have no reporters left. You've been fired. <laughs> Well, that went well then. This is your last issue as the editor of the Good Brie Patriot. The owner has lost faith in you. And the same is true for those who worked for you. No, nope, nobody worked for me. That was the problem. There were no reporters. I couldn't work out how to do it. Um, don't cry about it though. Go back to the beginning. Try again. Do better. Well, I couldn't have done any worse, could I? I could not have done any worse. I got a score. I got a score of 4,613 from not actually producing a newspaper. Um, okay. So if we go to New Game... Uh, we get, okay, so we're back on this screen again. Right, and what we need to do is we need to figure out how to hire a reporter, because I don't know how you do that. The National Review, that's kind of got an even split of uh, subscriber sort of views. Nice bit of cash, good starting subscribers. Right, let's begin the game here. Yeah, okay, is there something in here? Something in here that lets me hire reporters. I don't think there is. It must be on this screen. It must be on this screen. There must be something. There must be something around. There is a green man. You! These are reporters. Do you want to hire this reporter with eight years of experience at that much per month? Yes, I do. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> right, you are. Right, you like health and history. So we should be looking for medically things or a little book, possibly. And we could do with some other reporters as well. Medically things. Oh, there, there, you. You. Yes, we'll hire you. Absolutely. You like health and politics. Uh, that's history. Hang on. The other guy likes history. You. Do a thing, assign you to that. Yes, you, you do writing on that. You like health and politics. So which one's politics? Um, uh, the sort of house, Senate building. Uh, health, oh, that, that's got to be a health thing. They look like health. Disagreement in Goodbury. Okay, that's good. Right, can we find another reporter? Look for another stick person. Where are they? 
Where are you, reporter people? I've only got two reporters. That might be okay. That might be okay. Now, does the green tick mean they've finished their story? Does it mean they've finished writing? Health and politics, does it mean that? No, they're already working on a story. Oh, there. Hello. Hello, you. Yes, whatever. We'll have anybody. Entertainment and offbeat. Offbeat was the duck. Entertainment is the... What's entertainment? The headphones. So, duck or headphones? Oh, or you. We'll get you as well. No years of experience. You like fashion, offbeat, and climate. Um, We could do with with a duck. Where is a duck? Get me a duck. Somebody get me a duck. Yes, you write thing about a duck and you like fashion offbeat and climate. Oh, what's that? An advert. Yes, we'll get an advert. Absolutely. Uh, you, because the day, days ring out, write a thing about healthcare and we're done. Okay. <laughs> right. Uh, so we have three, we have three stories, do we? So we drag that in, uh, drag that in, drag disagreement and good in. Is there a bit at the bottom? Oh, yeah, there is there. Yeah, so we can have five stories. Um, it's a one-star newspaper. The National Review. This isn't the best. This isn't the best newspaper. And we've got a little gap down here, but that's fine. We'll sort that out. So, um, uh, okay. So, circulation, neighbourhood news. We've got no awards. That, that That's fine. That's fine. I can cope with that. Three angry letters. Beautiful. That's good. 2,805. So, did we make five... Do we make five subscribers? Seven new people became subscribers. Of these, four are liberal and three are conservative. Two either cancelled or chose not to renew. This issue is health-themed. Okay, the political slant is 57% liberal and 43% conservative. We received three angry letters. 28% of the content was written in-house. The rest was public service announcements, stock prices, and letters from your readers. Angry letters. Okay, so there's a managed reporters thing. Um, they've got mood... They've got skills, and I could buy them lunch. Oh, let's! I imagine that ups their mood. I'm going to assume it ups Lisa Graham's mood a tiny bit. No one else seemed to care. Okay, uh, back to the office, and there's an upgrades button. Oh, oh, this is exciting! So you can buy things, and it upgrades the newspaper. So all these are grayed out. So I imagine I have to be a certain level to get these. So there's an IT manager uh, needed for advanced tech. Interns help prevent the loss of happiness from the daily grind. That might be quite useful. That might be quite useful. Stock photography improves the base quality of all stories. Layouter. Okay, crossword editors, entertainment, business, law enforcement. Okay, so if we get the these ones down here, entertainment, business, law, crime, and academia, academics, they seem to all be specific to a story type. So good sources in entertainment increases the importance of related stories. So if we did entertainment stories and we had that unlocked, it would then increase the importance of entertainment stuff. But that's too specific and it's five grand. I want more generic stuff. 5% extra subscribers per issue if we put crosswords in the back. Yeah, absolutely. Let's put crosswords in. And then I like the idea of interns. Preventing the loss of happiness from the daily grind. So let's get ourselves some interns in as well so that's 10 grand we just spent that's probably quite a lot of money but okay they're probably good things to buy okay right well let's start a new day then okay right fashion offbeat and climber we need another reporter let's get you what what's your thing economy fashion offbeat we need somebody with slightly different skills right health there's a health story one of you people loved the health you write about health you right health and history we need an arts person there's quite a lot of art stuff around that's history. Where's... Oh, man alive. That went by quickly. Is there a science? No. Entertainment is headphones. Is there... What's that? Well, that's that's history. That's history. Hang on. Where's history person? You, there. Go and write about history. That's good. Uh, then we've got fashion. Right, a new reporter. Uh, climate and local news. Local news is that thing. Yes. We'll have you writing about local news. So we've got entertainment and offbeat. Where's the duck? There must be a rubber duck. Oh, entertainment, entertainment. Hang on, hang on, hang on, entertainment. You, go and write about entertainment. Yes, please. And the last person we've got is fashion, offbeat, or climate. Climate is what? The little flower. Okay. Or a duck. Or that's fashion. Yeah, write about fashion. Absolutely, write about fashion. So all of our people are writing about stuff. So, yeah, you're writing about protests in the streets. New theories everywhere. Influence at Goodbury Memorial. Art performance among good Burians. An offensive outfit on the road. <laughs> okay. So, what's that? A bomb? Good grief. And I think I want to click on that. Yeah, I want to click on these things to get 
money in from adverts. So I can put adverts into the paper. I think that's what that is. I need to check that actually when we go back. Right, okay, let's just drag all these in. So that can be a, that can be the next thing. Protests on the streets. Uh, offensive outfit can go down there. Art performance and then new theories everywhere. So it's a two-star paper. It's better than the last one we had. Print that now. Goodbury Community College is organising a softball tournament and asks if you donate space for them to publish their game schedule. Yeah, why not? Let's do that. That's a nice thing for us to do. So five new people became subscribers for a liberal and one a conservative. Two readers cancelled or chose not to renew. Three more angry letters. Hooray for angry letters. <laughs> Lovely. Um, right, advertisers. Two. So we've got $33 paid out from the expiring ads and one ad is ending soon. Okay, okay. Ads ending soon. Diana's driving school. So we'll get $57.75 from that. Okay, so, right, okay, I see. So we keep doing this, do we, until we get a better score. What did the goal say? That we had to do 5,000? 5, 5,000 subscribers was our goal. So we've got, goodness me, that's that's quite some goal. Okay, let's start a new day. Uh, what's that sport? Uh, right, there's health there. You like health. Go and write about health. That's a two... Oh, right, hang on. There's some offbeat stories here. Where's offbeat? You, you... Oh, three-star offbeat? Yes, please. Absolutely. Um, we haven't got anyone with art or fashion. There's another offbeat there, in fact. Was that a one? That's a two-star. You can write about that. A couple of offbeat stories. Health. Is that a good health story? Yes, it is a good health story. Absolutely. So, we've only got you left. Uh, climate or local news? So, keep an eye out for climate or local news, or adverts. Little money symbol things. That's all health. It's all fashion. Right, there's that. Oh, let's get that. Yep, yeah, we'll have you. Thank you. Welcome aboard. Come on, we need a climate. There's climate. One star. Do you know what? I love that. Absolutely. I'll take a one star climate thing. It's better than nothing. Um, do you know one, th one thing I do find makes me, my eyes go a little bit funny, is, is scrolling around this map. It make, does make my eyes go a little bit cross-eyed. It makes me feel a little a little bit queasy doing this all around the place. I can sort of see the point of why they're saying it. Because, you know, news appears all around the town. And, you know, you have to do stuff. You have to keep stuff. Yes, please. Yeah, you have to keep sort of seeking the streets and going and find what's going on with the latest news. But it does make my eyes go funny scrolling around this. Good grief, indeed. Um, okay, we're done. I think the reporters can only write one thing per day anyway. So... I think we could just... Oh, we'll be at the deadline anyway. So I think we can just skip to the deadline. Oh, and we only had four things written. Did somebody not get the chance to write something? Did somebody not finish something? Oh dear. That's not good, is it? Um, yeah, let's do... Th let's swap those round. Let's have drama cause and get rid of that. Put dental work at the bottom and then victims' rights just there. That's a three-star newspaper. Uh, the Goodbury Community College softball tournament has begun on opening day. They thanked us for sponsoring them. <laughs> that was nice. 42 new people became subscribers. Of these, 18 are liberal. Oh, wow. Okay. We received four angry letters. That is fine. I can cope with irate letters. Um, how are my reporters doing? The mood is good. Let's buy them all lunch. 400. Yeah, I bought everyone lunch. Aren't I nice? That's very kind of me. Um, okay. Back we go again then. So let's try health. Right, there's two health stories. One and... All right, we'll have a two-star health story. Thank you. Uh, climate. Oh, there's a climate one. Yeah, that's okay. That's two stars as well. That is a offbeat. That's two stars. So we'll get you writing two-star things. So we've got ourselves... Who's left? Health. And which one's politics again? Oh, the little sort of building. The little building thing. Uh, we haven't got anyone for economy, have we? There's a health story. That's only one star. Climate, they're both one stars. That's something to do with war. That's local news. Where's all the good where's all the good stories? These are all one star stories. I want better than this. Right, there's a two star fashion story that I just nabbed there. So health and politics. But they're all not very good at the moment. The health and the politics are not great stories. They're all sort of one stars. So ooh, there's an advert though. Yep, yeah, we'll have that. Thank you. That's fashion. So yeah, we need to keep scrolling around. Oh, we'll have the oh, missed the advert. Never mind. Um, we do need to get something in though. We, let's just get. Oh, we'll have that. Thank you. Yeah, we'll have that. Um, you and you. We'll get some money from that. Just do that. Just write about climate. It's fine. Just write about something. I'd rather you write about something than than nothing. Just get words down. Write words on paper. 
that will do. <laughs> That'll suffice. Now, did I get that in time? Yes. Um, let's put uh, weight loss at the gym at the top. Dihydroxide, drama and vaccines, aliens and vaccines, and conflict for professionals. Another three-star newspaper. So it should be okay. At 36 new people. Okay, right. And time ticks on. We're getting some adverts. So yeah, we're getting a little bit of money out of the ads. Subscriber data. I can't remember if we've moved it on a little bit. We might have moved it more. Was it 46 and 54? Have we moved it forward a little bit? I can't remember now. I don't know. Credibility is moving a little bit, but we have got a little bit more beholden to advertisers because we did that advert with the uh, local softball team, whatever it was. So that's moved a little bit, but that's fine. Okay, I can cope with that. Right, let's go back again. That, oh, that's a good that's a good, uh, good offbeat story to start with there. Yes, please. There's a climate story just there. It's only one star though. Joe, we'll have that for now. We'll just give you a climate story. That's okay. Health. Which one's health again? Health is... Which one's health? The, the, oh, yeah, there's, there's things. There's stethoscopy things. Oh, where's the other offbeat person? There's another offbeat at three star story right there. Yes, please. Um, health. Uh, that's, that's science. We haven't got any science either, have we? That's a terrible fashion story. Can I have some better? Oh, fashion. Where's the fashion person? Fashion. Oh, fashion's right in the other one. No. Joe, you know what? You can write that. Whatever. Health and history. Write about fashion. Go, <laughs> Just just get it done, all right? We'll have that advert. No, miss the advert. Health and politics. So one story, health thing. Oh, no. There was a really good... Yeah, actually, yes. Scrap the story you're on and write about politics, please. Um, and who have we got left? Well, everyone's doing something. Everyone's doing something. Even if they don't want to be. That's fine. So you're writing about healthcare at libraries... Your pranks, your conflict, conflict from space. <laughs> What's that about? Strange graffiti from another place. Maybe the two are linked. Ah. And pranks gone wrong for softball players. Okay. So if we now... Oh, yeah. We seek out adverts, actually. We could seek out adverts. Oh, we only got four written. We only got four written. Um, okay. Conflict from space. Pranks. Something to do with pranks again. We'll drag that there. And health scare at libraries. Okay. Print that. 20 new people. Yeah, that wasn't our best. That was not our best thing. Do we have these in? Uh, no, no, but they're taking time to complete. So we've got one day left. Um, okay, let's just, I'm just going to plow on with this and let's get on with it again. So that's a two star for uh, the offbeat people. So yeah, write that, write that. Is that a good climate story? No, that's a bit of rubbishy health story. That is, that's a fashion thing. Where's the fashion person? You write that. We'll get a two-story fashion thing going. Um, anything else happening that's that's good? Two-story local news, but that's too quick. We haven't got an arts person, have we? We haven't got an arty person. Right down here. Anything going on down here? Well, that's that's health. Who likes health? You. Write about some health, please. Uh, no, no. Your uh, people to hire. Right. Local news. There's a very good local news thing there. Yes. You get the local news in. That's good. So who have we got left? We've got health and politics. Um, that's business. That's offbeat. That's climate. Health and what's that? Is that politics? No, that's economy. Health and politics, please. Can we have health and politics? Um, oh, hang on. J just do that. Ab just do that. Whatever. Just write on that thing and we'll look for some adverts. We'll look for some adverts. The lights have come on. Oh, that was business. That was business. Any more adverts? Anyone want any adverts with us? Yes, please. Give us some money. Thank you very much. Any more people want an advert? Anyone else? Joe would like. I'd like to zoom out. The, the, the scrolling around thing of this screen does make my eyes go funny. Um, okay. Uh, there's a lot of vaccine stuff going on. An awful lot of vaccine things. Confusion. <laughs> Confusion like never seen before. That's the headline to all the Geek Covered newspapers. Ooh. A four-star newspaper. <gasps> 91 people became subscribers. Ooh, that's quite a lot. And yeah, we've we've got quite a good mix of things there. 54% of the content was written in-house. The rest was DIY tips, recipes from Chef Lotta Pot's kitchen, and reprints of popular pieces from the past. But now... Our crossword editor is in. So we've got a crossword thing at the back. 
5% extra subscribers and we have some interns so the lot the um they should get slightly less miserable so what's this we can have researchers help with the footwork adds 5% to the importance score of all stories or subscription sales having dedicated sales personnel adds 15% extra daily subscribers it costs nine and a half grand how much have we got how much have we got now? 16,400. But in the long run, that's probably very good. 15% extra daily subscribers. It's got to be a good thing. How about we go for that? Yes, please. We'll spend all our money on that. And now, yes, we've got just over seven grand. Just over seven grand. So at the end of the month, we need to make sure that we can pay. Oh, oh, okay. Right. Poss possibly, <laughs> I possibly might have overspent there because we need to make sure we've got... 20 grand in in the bank in order to pay the salaries and the office expenses uh yeah we might not have that it's i'm sure it's fine i'm sure it's fine right let's just crack on okay i just did a day i just did a regular day and i got a morale boost the owner is pleased with your efforts and hosts a party at one of the finest restaurants in goodbury how exciting i do like these both tasty yes indeed okay so we've got 78 new people there 78 new people that went quite well and only four angry letters hooray and aunt millie's advice column was in that one and we reviewed some books as well so i'm just going to sort of plow on a thing i'm just going to i wonder if we can get to 3000 subscribers i uh, 5000 sorry i don't know i don't know but that is our initial goal so i would like to try i'd like to try and at least get to 5000 subscribers if that's possible i don't know how long it'll take and i don't know what's going to happen at the end of the month when essentially we're going to run out of money we will run out of money because our balance is currently minus 14,000. So we're going to get that per month. So yeah, it's, it's, it, I need to get some more adverts in and I need to get some more subscribers in. So let's get to the end of the month. Um, how many days are in April? I'm not entirely sure. I don't know. We'll get to the end of April and see what happens. Uh oh, I've had a visit from the accountant. The newspaper accountant is here to remind you that on the first of every month your bills are paid. Make sure to have enough cash. Got it. That is a lie. No, I don't have it. However, that was the most successful paper we just did. I think it was a seven star paper. 294 new people became subscribers. Six people cancelled or chose not to renew. That's absolutely fine. So in terms of finances, yeah, I don't, it's not going to work. I don't think it's going to work. I'm not entirely sure. So we've got ourselves 8,735. We make, what, five a, five a month? Five grand, or maybe six grand-ish a month. So that's not going to pay. I don't know. I don't think it's going to work. I think we might have possibly just made ourselves bankrupt by doing that researchy thing. But well, that's fine. Right, well, let's crack on. Let's do some more of this. And there we go. The inevitable has happened. I ran out of cash. I have been fired. <laughs> that did not last very long at all. So yes, in hindsight, my um my little effort there to try and get more money in from the subscribers was um was was ill advised because yeah, I I got to the end of a day and I was like, "Yep, yeah, okay, I've finished." And then yes, it would have rolled round. May appeared, the 1st of May, and I did not have enough money to pay people. Now yeah, that was only because of that. That little um that little problem I did there where I spent all the money on something exciting, which in the long run would have, you know, would have in increased our money, would have increased subscribers by 15%. That's no small amount. So that would have been that would have been pretty good had I got that in. But there we go. You've been fired. This is your last issue as editor of the National Review. The owner has lost faith in you, and the same is true for those who worked for you. If only you've been more intuitive and more organized. Well, to be fair, the only did hire me. I'm neither intuitive nor organized. So there you go. It's your fault, owner. Maybe even fortunate than you were, things would be different. And still, here we are. You can do better. Go back to the beginning. Try again. Do better. I want to prove myself. Bibbly bobbly boo. So we got ourselves um, a base score of 6,496, which is gives us a reporter bonus and a subscriber bonus and an advert bonus and an upgrade bonus. Unfortunately, the cash bonus has knocked us back. So the upgrade bonus has been pretty much wiped out by the cash bonus negative effect. But all the rest of it is okay. We were we were in 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 uh, in post for 0 0.03 years. <laughs> we won no awards. We received 43 angry letters. And um, yeah, there you go. Our highest scoring issue was nine. It was a nine issue. Um, okay, now can we go back? There's a new game button. I don't really want to do the new game. I want to go back to the menu. Let's look at the alpha leaderboards. There we go. We are in sixth place, which actually is not that bad. 
I'm quite happy with that. I like that as a sixth place sort of finish. That's okay. Uh, 11,285 score with our best individual newspaper as 1,622. So yeah, a couple of people below did beat my individual score for a newspaper, but I kind of got better than them overall in terms of the you know, the general score. And quite a, quite a few people have lasted 11 editions. Now, I guess, I guess that is because they came to the end of April like I did and they'd ran out of money. So I imagine that might be quite a common thing that you're going to see on these leaderboards as time goes on. And um, yeah, there we go. So we did okay. Sixth place. I will gladly take sixth place for you know my first proper effort. Yes, our actual first real effort, the Good Repatriate. <laughs> we still did better than some other people. I mean, I don't know what these other people were doing. I don't know what they were doing. The Good Repatriate did nothing. It didn't print the newspaper. It printed a newspaper with nothing in it, yet it was still better than some other people. So, you know, that was a pretty good showing. But really, National Review, sixth place, I think that's pretty good. And you know what? I think you get the idea with how that works from that little look at it just there. So you hire your reporters, your reporters write stories, the stories go in a newspaper, the quality of the stories dictates the quality of the newspaper, and then the quality of the newspaper determines how many subscribers you get. The more subscribers you have equals the more money you get, and then the more money you get, I know you become the king of newspapers or something, I don't know. But as an alpha, that's pretty good. I mean, it's very stable as an alpha. We suffer no real bugs. And I like the idea of it. I like the idea of the game. I kind of like the execution of it, where you move around the map and you try and find the news. Because, you know, news is dynamic and fluid. You have to go around the city and find the news, that kind of stuff. So I quite like all that. There are the only two things that really I think I would sort of change. And bear in mind, this is an alpha with a release date of 2020 on it. So they've got over a year's worth of uh, design time on it. So I'm sure they can have a look at these two little things that I've got right now that sort of sprung to mind. Number one was a slightly different way of hiring reporters or a nudge as to how to hire reporters because I wasn't expecting them to just be sort of on the map with everything else. So that was a little bit obscure. And the second thing was the map moving around itself. It did make my eyes go very, very weird. It did make me feel a little bit sort of bilious. It just moved around. It was a bit too quick, I think, possibly, which I guess is kind of what you want because you want to try and find the news stories because it's all moving forward very quickly. But yeah, it did just make me feel a little bit odd looking at the map. <laughs> it made me feel a little bit queasy. But other than that, yeah, I enjoyed that. I enjoyed Above the Fold. It's a very interesting game. And yeah, I think it's got a lot of potential with you know, a year and a bit's worth of development on it. That could be a very, very interesting and challenging game indeed. If you are interested in it, then yeah, go and have a little look. Go and have a little look at the Steam Store page. There is a link in the video description, but I think we will finish up there for now. If you did enjoy this look at Above the Fold, then please do leave a like and also please do subscribe just to keep up to date with all the other stuff that we get up to. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I'll see you next time. And I'm back in the lockup again. I can break out this time though. Ha ha! Don't have that yet, buggers. This game is very hard, and it doesn't care that it kicks you in the face every now and then. Is there a difference between a gremlin and a goblin? I don't know. Maybe one's got a bigger chin and one's got bigger noses or ear size or something. I don't know. Whatever. These fellas.